available information from Hill Justice Needs Report 2016 shows that only 20% of Ugandans have access to legal aid services. Even this limited access is further compounded by huge case backlogs in courts. A report at the judges' conference earlier this year revealed that in 2019, the case backlog had grown by more than 36,000 cases. Majority of those that make it through the justice system are usually those that can afford private lawyers. This implies that many Ugandans that do not have money to pay for legal services suffer injustice at the expense of those with money. Uh, the period within which I've done my work, I have come across uh, very many challenges that border on people failing to get adequate or justice. For instance, I have come across people who have had their land grabbed People are very poor, people who cannot afford a lawyer. It's basically a nightmare in Uganda to access justice and we really need address. So when we look at the new law that is coming in, legal aid, government providing uh, lawyers to, uh, to aid or to help out the, pe the people who are marginalized, we feel it's really a good law and it has really taken long. As it stands now, legal aid service provision in Uganda is restricted to criminal cases by the state. It is in light of the above gap that several partners, mainly LASPNET, through the Spotlight Initiative, a partnership between European Union and United Nations, came together to advocate for the Legal Aid Bill. Fast forward in 2018, LASPNET, with support from Spotlight Initiative, forged a partnership with Greater North Parliamentary Forum to fast track the enactment of the Legal Aid Law. That's so how we came to partner with Greater North Parliamentary Forum, uh, led by Honorable Rian Rokomakechi, the chairperson of Greater North Parliamentary Forum. And we convened several breakfast meetings with members of parliament, and they agreed that they should move a private member's bill. Leandro Komakech, the chairman of Greater North Parliamentary Forum, mover of the draft bill. We stated very clearly that this law will open up gates for all Ugandans that have not been in position to access justice as is required under the law. At present, we only have access to justice to those undergoing capital offences only. Current legal aid policy vacuum. There is no national legal aid body to manage legal aid service provision. The scope of state-provided legal aid services is limited and excludes the majority of persons in Uganda and the type of legal aid services of which they are most in need. Access to justice for the rural and urban poor, as well as vulnerable persons, especially girls and women, is restricted due to poverty. Access to lawyers is limited, especially in rural areas, and the basic lack of knowledge on procedures of access to justice. Government legal aid service is currently limited to capital offences. You know how access to lawyers has been a big problem. You know paying of the services of lawyers is always in hundreds. It ranges from hundreds of thousands of shillings, which the local people cannot afford. The law will put in place a service provider, but this service provider is a state funded service provider. In other words, the government of Uganda will take over the primary obligation of ensuring equal access to justice and equality before the law of all manner of people. The proposed legal aid law I think is a great step and something which I think they have delayed because there are many, many people who have lost loved ones or their property like us, our, like us youth or their jobs but since they couldn't even gain any legal consultation. They didn't know what to do. So just like that, they lost their things. The proposed law's current status. We are glad to note that the draft, as far as we are concerned, it's not yet gazetted, but we have a draft law. And we believe that soon or later, uh, the member will go back to seek for leave to table the bill.
like I like the, the this intervention. I'm fully behind it. And once it comes on the floor, we will do our best to back it up so that it is it, it comes into law. A call on parliamentarians to pass the draft bill into law. Sabamuli pushing a man will take away all Kubanga and Tubangi Valino, Balino and Sibani Giriziwa. Fetu Valonda Mutuchiki, Mobekoche Mutuyamba. So, as legislators, I would like to ask you please and please and please and please let's stand and legislate properly and say that this law comes to pass in Parliament. If passed into law, it would establish a legal framework for the provision of legal aid by government and accredited legal aid service providers. Give full effect to Article 28.3e of the Constitution that states, in case of any offence which carries a sentence of death or imprisonment for life, be entitled to legal representation at the expense of the state. And provide affordable, accessible, sustainable, credible and accountable legal aid services to indigent or vulnerable persons in Uganda. This message is brought to you by LASPNET in partnership with the Ministry of Gender, Labour and Social Development funded by the European Union and United Nations under the Spotlight Initiative to eliminate violence against women and girls.